Hey folks, I am Troy and you're watching TroyTube. I have been searching high and low for a little piece of software and I think I found it. Um, you know, I constantly look for things that will help myself and help the craft community do what they need to do. And, you know, there, there's so many changes in operating systems and software these days, it's tough to keep up with them all. And they change the appearance, they change where things are located, the navigation and everything. And, you know, the latest versions of Windows, they're really starting to transition. You know, we've known this is coming for a few years now. I've not been happy with it, but, you know, I'm an old guy, what can I say? Uh, the, you know, interface to Windows, they're changing it to look a lot more like a mobile app or a tablet. Uh, you know, the, the flat look, larger icons, you know, it's just, it's a different look and feel. And for those of us who have been using computers for, I'm gonna say 40 years, um, it, it, it's a tough transition because we're used to things being in, you know, hierarchical views and folders and uh, very simplistic. And then when they change things, it makes things a little harder. Uh, more specifically, not only did they, have they changed some of the appearance, they've changed how some of it works. And I don't like some of it. It's not as intuitive and upfront as it used to be. So one of the things I've been working on for quite some time now, as you know, is the TroyTube Designer Beta. At, you can go log in and play around with it at design.troytube.net. Um, and, you know, one of the challenges was to be able to print the images the exact size that they appear on the screen. Um, not just, you know, not to be able to hold a piece of paper up to the screen and it be the exact size, but visually what you design on the screen based on the template layout. Say if you're working on a coaster, that that coaster is the same size when you print it out and when it comes out of the printer on paper. So that was quite a challenge. I spent a lot of time troubleshooting that and working with resolutions and ratios and probably killed a couple trees doing it too. Don't worry, I printed front and back of the paper. I printed on paper multiple times, used it as much as I could. To, cook, to not waste so much paper. But um, ultimately I got it figured out and you know the video that showed the other day uh, showed the Windows Photo Viewer uh, print capability and the proper settings to make it print the images proper size that you download from my editing uh, or my design tool. So I keep looking, keep looking, keep looking and I found what I think everyone's gonna enjoy. It's called the Fast Stone image viewer. Now they have, you can get it at faststone.org. They have a few different programs. They have an image resizer and a capture utility. The one that you want to download is the Fast Stone image viewer. And I'm going to switch over to the computer in a minute and give you a demo and show you exactly what I like about it. There is just, it has a lot of features. We're going to talk about one thing and one thing only, and that's primarily printing. Um, what I like about it is it gives you the ability to uh, browse your folders, pick your file, click print, the settings are right in front of you, and you can click properties and go to your print dialog. There's no hunting around and looking for things and trying to figure out how to set it, and oh, I've gotta go set it in my printer first and control panel, and then come back here because I can't get to that over here. You know, it's, it's a real pain sometimes. This utility seems to do exactly what I wanted it to do. And it actually does a lot more too, uh, but we're gonna talk, we're talking about it in specifically in you know, terms of printing. So let me switch over to the computer. I'll give you a quick demo of it. So as I mentioned, there is a ton of stuff built into this image viewer, and we're not going to talk about any of that today. Uh, we're just going to talk about image viewing and printing today uh, for the purposes of this video. But there is quite a bit that you can do in here. So you can it, it can even do some design work, I think. But um, it, uh, the basic level we're concerned with viewing and printing images and as you see it is like kind of like the old windows interface the old icons uh you know, for us that have used computers for a long time it looks very familiar and it makes it easy to navigate as well so you have your folder tree down the left side it's kind of like windows explorer where you browse your files and folders so you have a tree hierarchical tree down the left side and then the right side is whichever folder you're clicked on uh, we'll show you what's inside of that and it shows you 
right here exactly where you're at on your computer. That I absolutely love because there's so much mystery around files and folders and what uh, you know, how you're navigating around and where you're actually at at any given time in uh, your computer. So with this, I'm on my desktop and I'm going to double click and go into this images folder and we have this image of Molly here and uh, it gives you the resolution of the image, the file name, and you can see where it's located. And there's a couple of different things you can do here. So if I double click on it, it goes full screen by default and shows me all of that information. And uh, if I hit escape, I can get out of that. If I go to view, I can change the layout to a windowed view. And uh, that brings it up this way. So you're still in the software. It's not full screen, but it is full screen kind of. And over here, you have shortcuts where you can toggle back and forth between the different views. So if I'm on the second one, it will show my uh, folder tree over here on the left. And if I go up a folder and then uh, maybe into here, you can see that it, you know, it previews whatever file you're highlighted on. Okay. And then over here's the view with a little bit larger view that hides the folders. And then all over here is the full screen view. And you can hit escape again and, and exit out of that. So I tend to like this view because I can click on the files, I can see the thumbnail, I can see the larger view, I can still see my folders and everything. So this is on, just so you'll have this, this is on the browser view right setting. And uh, with this, I can either hit control P, I can go to file and print, or I can even right click and go to print. And when I go to print, this is what is super nice here. Uh, it puts everything right up in front of you. Uh, you can do multiple images at one time if you'd like. You can select your printers. You have an easy drop down here for your printer list. You have a button to refresh your printer list. Um, we'll come back to this here in a second. Uh, we have margins. So for the purposes of printing the PNG files that you download from the TroyTube Designer Beta, you want to have these all set to zero. And then down here you want size on original size and the checkbox to shrink if larger than page checked. Uh, you have your number of copies, portrait or landscape. Um, you can turn off auto rotate if you want. You don't really need that for this purpose. And if the image is smaller uh, than a page, you can also uh, you know, position it in different areas of the page here. And units of measure is inch. And gamma correction, we can leave that alone. No, we don't need to change anything there. But uh, the, one of the world nice things that it has is this print setup button, which takes you straight to your printer dialog box. And if I hit properties, it brings up my printer settings and it makes it super easy for me to change anything I want, uh, such as uh, you know, changing it to presentation paper map with high quality print for my sublimation paper. If I want to mirror the image, I can come over here and click mirror. And then when I hit print, it's gonna print this image out. How smooth is that? That is one of the most simplistic, uh, readily available, puts everything right in front of you, uh, image viewer and printers uh, software that I've ever uh, encountered. Again, it's kind of old looking, the retro look, I kind of like it. And uh, I think a lot of people will find this easy to navigate and uh, hunt around. So um, fast stone image viewer, and uh, like I said, they have some different pieces of software out there at faststone.org. Uh, that uh, there's one called Max View. There's Photo Resizer. There's a Capture Utility. But this is the one called Fast Stone Image Viewer. And uh, I think this will serve a lot of people well for being able to print their images and designs for sublimation a lot easier than uh, trying to wrestle with printer settings and Windows and uh, different software. That uh, er you know every software you look at is. Yeah, basically operates differently and uh, I think this will make everyone's life a little easier. So there you have the Fast Stone Image Viewer. That was a real gem of a find in my opinion. Uh, it makes life a lot easier. 
it puts everything right in front of you and lets you do exactly what you need to do without having to wonder about you know, where you're going to find these settings at or anything. Um, you know, they do the, the software is free for personal use. They do have a commercial license if you're using it in a business that they ask that you buy a license. The commercial license is only 35 bucks. So if you're using it and you want to donate, go to their website, faststone.org. You know, send them five or ten bucks. It's worth it. Trust me. Uh, I've already sent them a couple of emails asking about some other functionality. I'm waiting to hear back from them if they're uh, able to do some other things. I'm willing to make a you know, decent donation to them and help them out and uh, further this thing along. Um, but, you know, this is one of those things. You know, if I had found this two weeks ago, it would have been in my video the, the other day with the recommendations to the Windows Photo Viewer. But that's how it happens. My mind never stops. I keep looking for this stuff and I keep stumbling across things that I think will be useful to the craft community and give people what they really need. Uh, to use and make their lives a little bit easier. Kind of reminds me a few years ago when um, I was working with the main type program. I think I was probably the first one that recommended that out in the craft community to access your glyphs and extra characters in your fonts, like the Samantha font. And um, you know, a lot of people were using Babel Map and Windows Character Map, real hard to use and fumble around. And Main Type made it so much easier. It seems like everybody recommends Main Type now. So maybe this will be the same way. Everybody will be recommending uh, this uh, Fast Stone Image Viewer to print their designs. Uh, but I just wanted to, to share that with you, show it to you. I know I'm going to use it from now on. I would encourage you to download it and use it as well. This is for Windows, Mac users. I don't know yet. I still, you know, I have my MacBook here, but uh, it's a long ways off before I can turn that on and start figuring out some of this stuff. Uh, but, you know, for all I know, the Mac is going to print just absolutely fine without, you know, any third party software or anything. I don't know. But we'll see where that goes. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Faststone.org, the Faststone Image Viewer. Download it, install it, play around with the print settings like I showed you in the video, and uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below the video.